In video number 19, we're going to be solving two-step inequalities with negatives. So let's go ahead and begin. The inequality rules, let's just review those again real quick. Always have the variable on the left side of the inequality. And number two, graph in the direction the inequality sign is pointing. The flip the sign rules are when you change sides of the inequality, so when you move the, um, the variable from the right side to the left side, you have to flip the sign. And when you multiply or divide by a negative number, we switch the inequality sign as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. Take out your homework sheet. It looks like what I have up here. It's video 19. We're going to do four practice problems together. And then you have six practice problems at the bottom to work on as well. And I have the answers for those problems too. Here we go. Number one, we have 5 plus 16x is less than negative 59. Okay. In this problem, we're first going to solve it just like an expression. We're going to, or excuse me, as an equation. We're going to add negative 5 to both sides. Okay. And we're going to solve that. And we're going to get 16x is less than, well, negative 59 plus negative 5 is negative 64. And then our next step, let me move this down so I have more room, is to divide by 16. Now, a lot of students will flip the sign here because they see that 64 is negative. Okay? They do not flip the sign in this case because we're dividing by 16. Okay? 16 is a positive number, so we don't flip the sign. It doesn't matter what the number is over here in, in the numerator, it's what's in the denominator. So six, 16 goes into negative 64, negative 4 times. So that negative 4 becomes our key number. It's an open circle, and we're going to graph going to the left. Remember our arrow trick. Draw a little arrow in here. It's going to the left. Okay. That's the answer for number 1. Let's look at number 2. Okay, add its opposite to start with. Now, we're going to add 4 to both sides, just like we do with an equation. Solve that. Again, let me move this down. We solve that problem. We get negative 9x is greater than or equal to 99. Now, we're going to divide by negative 9. Now we're dividing by a negative, and negative's in our denominator. Okay, so now we have to flip the sign. So we're going to flip the sign, and 99 divided by negative 9 is negative 11. So negative 11 is going to be my key number. It's going to get a closed circle, and I'm going to graph going to my left. Okay, that's your answer for number 2. Then number 3. And number three, go ahead and write that down. We're going to add its opposite, so it's going to be plus negative five. Draw your line down the middle. Let me move this down first. We'll draw your line down the middle. We're going to add five to both sides to clear that out. So we get negative 12x is greater than well, negative 77 plus 5 is going to be negative 72. We're going to divide by negative 12. Okay, so our denominator is a negative. Divide by negative. So this will give us x. We have to flip the sign because this is negative 12 in the denominator. It doesn't have anything to do with negative 72 in the numerator. Negative 72 divided by negative 12 is 6. So our answer is x is less than 6. So put 6 as our Let me do that. So let's put 6 as our key number. It gets an open circle. We're going to the left. Okay. That's the answer for number 3. For number 
Let me move that down real quick. Go ahead and copy it now. Draw your line down the middle. Then we got to get rid of 70. So we're going to add negative 70 to both sides. Okay. Get 70x is less than or equal to, well, these cancel each other out. We have 0. Well, we're going to divide by 70. So we're just going to get x is less than or equal to 0. So 0 is going to be my key number. And I'm going to be graphing going to the left. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and work on um, the bottom six problems. Uh, go ahead and pause the video. Complete those six practice problems. Then you can on pause the video and check your answers. Good luck with those. Here are your answers for those bottom problems. Okay, check them. Make sure you put the sign correctly. Uh, make sure that you're using open and closed circles correctly, and make sure that you're graphing in the, in the correct direction as well. Okay, so here are your answers for five through ten. Number five, x is greater than or equal to negative seven. Um, six, x is greater than negative four. 7, x is greater than or equal to negative 20. 8, x is greater than or equal to negative 11. 9, x is less than 20. And 10, x is less than negative 54. Okay. Write any questions down that you have, and please bring those to class tomorrow. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Okay. Thank you for doing your homework. Bye.